This guy may be one of the strongest weightlifters of all time, and he doesn't even train that seriously, and he hasn't competed in over 12 years. So what is actually up with this guy, and could he potentially win an Olympic medal? <laughs> this is Clarence Kennedy, also known as the boy who lifted. Clarence Kennedy is quite well known in the fitness and strength sport community as he's been a topic of debate for quite some time in regards to his crazy strength and athleticism. If you didn't know, Clarence himself is a weightlifter and YouTuber who mostly trains with the goal of being as strong as possible in the Olympic lifts, which are the snatch and the clean and jerk. But with those goals and his background in tricking and parkour, he has become one of the strongest men on the planet for his weight. And he could literally take home an Olympic medal in weightlifting if he competed today. But let's take a look at who Clarence is and how he's gotten this insanely strong. Clarence Kennedy was born in Ireland in August of 1992, making him 31 years old and he currently stands at 180 centimeters and weighs around 95 kilos. And really, not much is known about his younger days other than he started training for weightlifting at age 14. And back then, all he had was a small home gym setup with a bar and some plates. In the first video I could find, Clarence is doing a 45 kilo or 99 pounds clean and jerk in his room. Although we know for a fact that Clarence had above average athleticism for his age as at the time he was doing a lot of parkour and tricking based on videos from his YouTube channel. However, his fitness journey was shaping up fast, as less than one year after starting weightlifting, Clarence was already lifting over 70 kilos overhead. And a couple of years later, around the time he turned 17, he was already deadlifting close to 180 kilos and pushing more than two plates overhead, which is pretty darn impressive at around 70 kilos body weight. And from there, he just kept on getting stronger year by year, showing a steady progress across both the power lifts and the Olympic lifts simultaneously, hitting his first ever 100 kilogram snatch in April of 2010. And his lifts would only improve over the next year, eventually landing Clarence in his first ever national level weightlifting competition in February of 2011, where he ended up snatching 118 kilos and clean and jerking 149 kilos, which at the time were notably lower than his training PRs, which is a trend he would set for the coming years. The following week, Clarence would post a video which went semi-viral at the time of him squatting 200 kilos without a belt or sleeves, followed by some incredible vertical jumps. A video which would represent his training style moving forward for the next couple of years. The year 2011 would end up being Clarence's best year in terms of progress, as he managed to pack on 50 full kilos to his squat and deadlift max separately. And at the end of 2012, he entered the Junior European Weightlifting Championships, which, fun fact, multiple time Olympic champion Lasha Tolik Hotze also attended. During the competition, Clarence would end up hitting a 154 kilo snatch, but he would unfortunately bump out on the clean and jerk, leaving him without a valid total, and quite a disappointing showing despite his incredible training lifts just a few weeks prior. Clarence would end up competing only two more times both in 2013, with his last ever competition being the Junior European Weightlifting Championships held in Tallinn the year after, where Clarence ended up snatching less than he did one year before, only settling for his opener of 148. 8 kilos, and the clean and jerk did not go much better, only getting one successful attempt at 180 kilos. Although, at the very least, he failed his final lift in style. After this, Clarence would stand strong on his opinion to never compete ever again which he has openly talked about on his YouTube channel on a couple of occasions. Now, I won't go too much into detail on why he refuses to head back on stage, but it has to do with how professional weightlifting has had an unfair anti-doping regulation, where people from certain countries would remain untested for years, while people, usually from Western countries, would get tested very often, creating an uneven playing field on top of the already existing corruption in the IWF, which at one point even caused weightlifting to be taken off the summer Olympics program altogether. Clarence has actually made a pretty strong video about the topic called Why I'm Against Anti-Doping, so I highly recommend watching that one if you want a different perspective on PEDs in elite sports. But back to the main topic, after retiring from competition, Clarence would only focus on getting stronger in the Olympic lifts and power lifts for the next few years on his own accord, even switching to a vegan diet at one point, which he 
still maintains to this very day. Clarence's strength would then skyrocket between 2014 to 2016, where he would end up hitting some crazy all-time PRs. Like in this video where he's hitting a 340 kilo deadlift at 100 kilos body weight. Today is still the most viewed video on his channel. And who can forget the time he benched 200 kilos without even really training for it? Or even the first time he squatted 300 kilos ass to grass with a pause. And to this very day, Clarence refuses to use any additional lifting gear like knee sleeves, wraps, or even a belt, making his lifts even crazier. And if you think his incredible strength gain caused him to become less athletic, Think again, because here are some videos of him tricking from around the same time he was hitting those crazy PRs. Safe to say, this man is an athletic freak and he would probably do well in any sport of his choosing if he went down a different path. But what's so impressive about Clarence is that to this very day at age 31, he is still improving and hitting PRs. Although he recently took some time off hard training and is now getting back into it, his best filmed lifts include a 190 kilo snatch, which he posted in September of 2022, which, if you pair that with his most recent clean and jerk PR of 225 kilos from March 2021, he would have a theoretical total of 415 kilos, which is 13 whole kilos more than the Olympic gold medalist from 2020 in the same weight class. Now, of course, peak lifts are not representative of what Clarence would be able to hit in competition, especially given his former track record of underperforming at meets. But it's still crazy to think that he's basically at a peak Olympic level as a hobby lifter who just regularly takes breaks from training to focus on different stuff. And some of Clarence's other best lifts include a 306 kilo ass to grass pause squat. <laughs> A 230 kilo clean, which he has done on several occasions without the overhead jerk. A 250 kilo paused front squat. As well as some crazy AMRAPs like this set of squats with 265 kilos for 10 reps. Again, without any lifting gear. And that's just the stuff we know about because Clarence tends to keep PRs secret and hidden behind his Patreon accounts. We cannot say for sure that these are actually his peak lifts, despite how impressive they appear. Although I don't think we'll ever see this man compete ever again in weightlifting, it's still impressive as hell to see the numbers he put up and the athleticism he displays on a regular basis. Considering Clarence has actually dappled into powerlifting in the last couple of years, even trying out sumo deadlifts, which he is super strong at, so maybe one day we'll actually see him compete in this sport of powerlifting. And it's always fun to think about what could have been with this guy. So today's question is, do you guys think Clarence Kennedy could have won an Olympic medal if he kept competing? Let me know down in the comments below. Leave a like if you enjoy these videos and want to see more like them. And if you want to get seriously strong in 2024, hit me up for coaching. I'll pin the link to my website in the comments. Thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you all next time. Man, what's it like lifting with colors?